In the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is power. Understanding the theory behind attacks, defenses, and the intricate workings of networks is crucial. However, this theoretical knowledge alone isn't enough to make you a proficient cybersecurity professional. But real power comes from experience. It's the hands-on practice that truly solidifies your understanding and hones your skills. This is where the concept of a hacking lab becomes indispensable. You can read all the books and watch all the videos, but nothing beats the hands-on learning of a hacking lab. It's in these controlled environments that you can apply what you've learned, make mistakes, and learn from them without any real-world repercussions. It's where theory meets practice, where you can safely experiment and hone your skills without real-world consequences. This practical experience is invaluable as it bridges the gap between knowing and doing. Think of it like a pilot using a flight simulator. Before they ever touch a real plane, they spend hours in a controlled environment, learning the controls and reacting to different scenarios. This preparation is crucial for their success and safety. Before they ever touch a real plane, they spend hours in a controlled environment, learning the controls and reacting to different scenarios. This preparation is crucial for their success and safety. Similarly, a hacking lab provides a safe space to practice and perfect your skills. A hacking lab is your simulator. It allows you to create and test different scenarios, understand the behavior of various systems, and develop strategies to counteract potential threats. It allows you to safely explore vulnerabilities, test security tools, and develop the skills you need to become a true cybersecurity professional. This hands-on experience is what sets apart a knowledgeable individual from a skilled practitioner. Without a lab, you're learning in a vacuum. You might understand the concepts, but you won't have the practical experience to back it up. This can leave you unprepared for real-world challenges. With a lab, you're stepping into the arena, ready to face any challenge that comes your way. You're not just learning, you're doing, experimenting, and growing. This is the essence of hands-on hacking, and it's what will make you a formidable force in the world of cybersecurity. Simply put, a hacking lab is a controlled environment where you can experiment with cybersecurity concepts. It's a dedicated space where you can safely explore the world of hacking without the risk of causing any real harm. It's a safe space to explore hacking techniques, test security tools, and learn how to defend systems from attacks. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced professional, a hacking lab provides the perfect setting to hone your skills. This can be as simple or as complex as you like. You might start with just a basic setup, like a single computer with some essential software installed. Some people build elaborate setups with multiple servers and networking equipment. These advanced labs can simulate real-world networks and environments, providing a more comprehensive learning experience. Others start with just a single computer and a few virtual machines. Virtual machines are a great way to create isolated environments where you can test different scenarios without affecting your main system. The most important thing is that it meets your needs and allows you to learn effectively. Your hacking lab should be tailored to your specific goals and interests, whether that's learning the basics or diving into advanced topics. Don't let the term hacking intimidate you. In this context, it's about ethical hacking, which is a legitimate and valuable skill in the cybersecurity field. In this context, it's about ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing or ethical hacking. Ethical hackers use their skills to identify and fix security vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. You're learning how to think like a hacker to better protect systems from real threats. By understanding how attacks work, you can develop stronger defenses and contribute to a safer digital world. Building a hacking lab doesn't require a fortune. You can start with the basics and gradually expand as you gain experience. Here are some hardware essentials. First, you'll need a dedicated computer for your lab. It doesn't have to be top of the line, but it should have enough RAM and storage to run virtual machines smoothly. Next, an external hard drive is key. Keep your lab separate from your personal data. An external hard drive provides extra storage and a backup option. And of course, a bootable USB drive is essential for installing operating systems and troubleshooting. These are just the basics. As you progress, you might consider additional hardware like a network switch or a Raspberry Pi for more advanced projects. The real power of a hacking lab lies in its software. Here are some essential tools to get you started. First, virtualization software is crucial for creating a safe and isolated environment. 
Popular options include VirtualBox, which is free, and VMware Workstation, which is paid. Next, experiment with different operating systems like Kaylee Linux, which is specifically designed for penetration testing, Parrot OS, and Pentu Linux. And don't forget to explore a range of security tools such as Nmap for network scanning, Metasploit for penetration testing, and Wireshark for network analysis. Don't be overwhelmed by the variety of tools available. Start with the basics and gradually expand your toolkit as you gain experience. Section 5. Building your lab, a step-by-step -step guide. Now that you have your hardware and software, it's time to build your lab. Here's a simplified guide. First, install virtualization software. This software allows you to run multiple operating systems on a single physical machine, creating isolated environments for testing and development. Download and install your chosen virtualization software like VirtualBox or VMware on your computer. These platforms are user-friendly and widely used in the industry. Next, create virtual machines. Use the virtualization software to create virtual machines. Each virtual machine will act as a separate computer within your lab, allowing you to simulate different environments and scenarios. Each virtual machine will act as a separate computer within your lab. Then, install operating systems. Choose operating systems that are relevant to your learning objectives or project requirements. Install your desired operating systems, such as Kali Linux or Parrot OS, on each virtual machine. These operating systems are popular in the cybersecurity community for their built-in tools and capabilities. Finally, install security tools. Download and install your chosen security tools within the virtual machines. Tools like Wireshark, Metasploit, and Nmap are essential for network analysis, penetration testing, and vulnerability assessment. This is a basic setup. It provides a solid foundation for your learning and experimentation. As you progress, you can customize your lab by adding more virtual machines, configuring networking, and exploring advanced tools. This flexibility allows you to adapt your lab to your evolving needs and interests, making it a powerful resource for continuous learning and development. Section 6. Staying safe and legal essential precautions. Hacking, even for educational purposes, carries inherent risks. It's crucial to prioritize safety and legality. First, always obtain explicit permission before attempting to access any systems or networks that you do not own. Second, your hacking lab should be isolated from your personal devices and networks to prevent accidental damage or data loss. Third, cybersecurity is constantly evolving. Keep your operating system, software, and knowledge up to date to protect yourself from new threats. Remember, ethical hacking is about responsible exploration. Always act with integrity and respect the law. Section 7. First Steps – Beginner-Friendly Hacking Exercises once your lab is set up, it's time to put your skills to the test. Here are some beginner-friendly exercises. First, use a tool like Nmap to scan your home network. Identify connected devices and analyze their open ports. Second, download a vulnerable virtual machine, like Metasploitable, and practice using vulnerability scanners to identify weaknesses. Third, learn about password cracking techniques using tools like John the Ripper. Practice on password hashes never on live accounts without permission. These exercises provide a safe and controlled environment to learn and apply ethical hacking techniques. Section 8. The Rewards of Practice. Benefits of Your Home Lab. Building and using a hacking lab offers numerous benefits. First, nothing beats practical experience. A lab lets you apply theoretical knowledge in a real-world setting. Second, You'll develop valuable cybersecurity skills, such as penetration testing. Third, vulnerability assessment. Fourth, incident response. A strong understanding of hacking techniques is highly sought after in the cybersecurity job market. Investing in a hacking lab is an investment in your future. It's a commitment to continuous learning and a pathway to exciting opportunities. Section 9, Never Stop Learning Resources for Continued Growth. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. To stay ahead of the curve, never stop learning. First, platforms like Udemy, Coursera, and Cybrary offer a wealth of cybersecurity courses for all skill levels. Second, 
Capture the Flag or CTF competitions are online competitions that challenge your hacking skills in a fun and engaging way. Third, join online forums and communities to connect with other enthusiasts, exchange knowledge, and seek guidance. Remember, the journey of a cybersecurity professional is one of continuous learning and adaptation. Embrace the challenge and never stop exploring.